In this video, we shall learn about the major rivers in India. Well, the major rivers in India can be divided into the Himalayan rivers and the rivers of the Indian plateau. The major Himalayan rivers are River Ganga, River Brahmaputra and River Indus. These are not just rivers, they are river system. River Ganga is the longest and the most important river of India. It is 2525 kilometers long and it flows through the states of Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal. River Ganga is the most sacred river to Hindus. It is also a lifeline to millions of Indians who live along its course and depend on it for their daily needs. River Ganga originates from Gangotri Glacier at Gomukh. The headwaters of Ganga is known as Bhagirathi. It joins river Alaknanda at Devprayag and from here the river is known as Ganga. Yamuna is the second largest tributary of Ganga. River Yamuna originates at Yamunotri and joins Ganga at Allahabad. It is the longest river in India which does not directly flow into the sea. The rivers joining Ganga from the north are Ram Ganga, Gomati, Ghagra, Rapti joins Ghagra, Gandak and Kosi. River Ghagra is the largest tributary of Ganga. The rivers joining Yamuna from the south are Chambal. Now the tributaries of Chambal are Banas, Parbati and Kali Sindh. The other tributaries of Yamuna are River Sindh and Betwa. The tributary of Betwa is Dhasan. Then it is Ken and Tones. River Son joins River Ganga. The tributary of River Son are Rihand and Koyal. In West Bengal, River Ganga is joined by Mayurakshi and Damodar. Coming to the next river, River Indus. Well, the Indus River is 3180 kilometers long and this makes it one of the longest rivers in Asia. The river originates in the western part of Tibet in the vicinity of Mount Kailash and Lake Mansarovar. The river passes through Jammu Kashmir and before joining Arabian Sea, it passes through Pakistan. It is the longest river and the national river of Pakistan. River Satlaj is the largest tributary of River Indus. It originates from Rakshasthal Lake in Tibet. This river flows through the states of Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and joins River Indus in Pakistan. The tributaries of Indus are Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Pias. And in the northern part, the tributaries are Shayok, Kiljit, and Jhaskar. The next important Himalayan river is the river Brahmaputra. River Brahmaputra is one of the major rivers of Asia which flows through China, India, and Bangladesh. This river is 3,848 kilometers long. River Brahmaputra is also called Sangpo in Tibet. It originates on the Chimangyungdung glacier located on the northern side of the Himalayas in Burang County of Tibet. When I say county, a county is a geographical region of a country used for administrative or other purpose in certain modern nations. The Brahmaputra enters India 
in the state of Arunachal Pradesh where it is called Siang in Assam the river is called Brahmaputra in Bangladesh the Brahmaputra is joined by the river Tista then it is known as Jamuna later on it merges with the lower ganga called the river padma in the final part the river is called meghna now the main tributaries of brahmaputra are river tista dubri manas suban siri lohit tibang dhanasiri kopili and meghna river meghna in the initial stage is known as barak river surma when it turns south it is known as meghna the important rivers of the indian plateau are mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri narmada and tapi river mahanadi originates in chatisgarh it is an important river of chatisgarh and odisha the tributaries of river mahanadi are seonath hasdev mand ib ong and river tel river godavari is the second longest river in india after the river ganga it has its source at trembakeshwar the main tributaries of river godavari are river pravara puma vein ganga the tributaries of vein ganga are pen ganga and river vardha then it is manjara and indravati river krishna originates in the western ghats near mahabaleshwar the main tributaries of krishna are bhima tungabhadra ghat prabha and malaprabha then it is river pennar and river kaveri the two important westward flowing rivers of india are river narmada and river tapi river narmada is the longest westward flowing rivers of india thank you for watching